Sleeper is a runner with an unusual origin story. When he was born, his parents were told he'd never be able to walk, but that didn't stop him from becoming a Paralympian and the first double amputee ever to compete at the USA Track and Field Outdoor Championships. Eva, he is a star, but more importantly, a huge inspiration. And I recently got a chance to fly out to L.A. to sit down with Blake to talk about his incredible life story and his new documentary. Take a look. It's kind of crazy to think that the day that I was born, they told me I'll never walk. And here I am running for my life. Blake Leeper was born without legs below the knees, but his disability hasn't slowed him down. I was born with a congenital birth defect, fibular hemimilia. So the day that I was born, the doctors told my parents that I would never walk a day in my life. It was the, the support system that I had from my mother and father. They told me, they said that we're going to keep a positive attitude towards the whole situation. Yes. I might have one disability, but I have a thousand other abilities to be happy about. I remember you telling me I'd rather be a man with no legs than yeah. a man with a bad attitude. Yeah, you know, that's something that I, I, I truly believe. You know, people look at my situation and they label me as a disabled man. But I, I'm a true believer that the only true disability in life is a bad attitude. I never grew up thinking I wanted to be a runner. And it was about in 2008, I was in college and I seen the Paralympic Games. And that was like, that's what I want to do. Like, I want to be a professional runner. I want to get these running legs and I want to take it to the highest level. Blake's running career took off. He earned silver and bronze medals at the 2012 Paralympic Games before he began to run against non-disabled athletes. His goal was to compete in the 2020 Olympics until World Athletics, the governing body for sports, ruled that Blake's prosthetic legs gave him an advantage over athletes without them. I started getting the letters and, and the emails from the World Athletics Federation saying that I have an unfair advantage against able-bodied runners. I got to the highest level and I fought for it. And then once I get there, they tell me, me, that I have an unfair advantage and I just, I, I couldn't believe it. They were just focusing on the height of my legs and said, if I was born with legs, then I would be 5'8". And because I stood at 6'2", that gave me an unfair advantage against able-bodied competitors. Blake has been fighting back, and he hasn't let this challenge stop him. Are you better? I was mad. I was upset. Got to the point and said, this is, this is unfair. This is completely unfair. But... Marco, one thing I learned in my life is, especially being born without legs, I've learned that life isn't fair. You can't control what happens to you in life, but one thing you can control is your attitude towards the situation. Now, dropping your height, that makes you slower. I was the fifth fastest 400 meter runner in the world, and dropping my height immediately, I went to 500. You're talking about a, a, a mind shift. I knew that it wasn't the legs that got me to those times. I knew it was my work ethic, and so as hard as it was, I got my new running legs, and I went back to work. Now, Blake's story is the subject of a new documentary called Abled. There's a lot of disabled individuals out here in this world that needs to hear my story, and sometimes it's gonna go right, and sometimes it's gonna go wrong. What do you hope people will walk away from? You know, I hope other disabled athletes, and just athletes in general, watch this film, and they get inspired to fight. Each and every day that you wake up, you get motivated, you get fired up to fight for your dreams. Uh, you feeling inspired? Yes, uh, you could do anything. Anything, anything that you put your mind to. His positivity is incredible. It is, and we just want to note that the uh, film also explores Blake's allegations of racial discrimination with World Athletics' maximum allowable standing height rule, uh, which the organization used to disqualify him. Uh, in a statement, World Athletics said the rule was established to maintain fairness in competition by preventing a disabled athletes from overcompensating for the absence of a missing limb. In response to Blake's racism allegations, the organization said the rule does have application to black athletes of African descent and it is confident in its application. Now, Abel, the Blake Leaper story premieres July 1st, so go check it out. It is in L.A. We will all be cheering for mm -hmm. him. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.